This is the category features experiment. All right, so you're gonna need something to write with. Really, you need something to write with. And in this experiment, you're gonna be randomly assigned to different conditions based on your last name, because that's easiest. So um, you don't need to write down your condition number on paper, but you probably need to remember it the entire time. So if you're not gonna remember, write it down. So you're gonna write down your responses on this paper, and um, and here we go. So for this experiment, each group is going to see a different series of categories. So your job is going to be to write down as many features that are common to the members of that category. So do that for only your category. Now it's kind of confusing, so let me give you an example. <clears throat> uh, so everybody whose last name start from A to I is going to be condition one the entire time. So write down condition one. Everybody whose last names are J to P are condition two. And everybody whose last names are Q to Z, so the end of the alphabet, is condition three. And hopefully that will split people up pretty evenly. Um, and so what you would do is if you were in condition one, so I would be, my last name is Buchanan, uh, I would write down features for fruits. Uh, if you were in condition two, you'd write down the features for birds. And three, the features for meats. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to go ahead and do that. Write down at least two or three. What are the features for your condition? All right. So if you're in the fruits category, like I was, you could have written things like they're sweet and they have seeds and they're tomatoes because tomatoes are fruit. For birds, you could have written things like flies, lays eggs, has feathers, has wings. Okay. For meats category, you could have said things like animals, protein. So when you write down the, cat, uh, the features, go ahead and write down the category as well. Um, so we can look at them at the end. You're gonna have a minute for each trial, so make sure you know what condition you're in. If you're not sure, back it up and look at it. Um, and you're gonna write down the features for the category that is in your condition. You're gonna do four or five of these, and then after a minute, it will flip to the next trial. So keep your eye on the screen. <clears throat> okay, so if you're ready, let's go. So you should be writing down things based on your condition now.
Okay, so what do we do now? Um, <clears throat> if you are in condition one, count how many things you wrote down for the clothing and vehicle categories. Uh, if you need to back up and figure out which list that is, you can pause the video and do that. Uh, for condition two, count how many features you have for tools and toys. If you're in condition three, count how many features you have for furniture and weapons. Add all that up, divide by two, that number is the average number of cate uh, category features for global. So I will give you a little minute now to go and add those up. Okay, for the second number, so you're gonna have three of these. Uh, in condition one, count how many features you have for firearms and carpenters tools. For condition two, lamps and jackets. Condition three, boats and dolls. Um, create an average for that one too, and that's gonna be called the basic categories. All right, last one. So the final two, uh, for condition one, do desk lamps and Barbies. Condition two, sailboats and rifles. Condition three, raincoats and hammers. Um, add that up, divide by two, and label that number specific. So what's going on? This is an experiment that was originally performed by Roche, um, and it looks at uh, the different levels of categories. So global categories versus basic categories versus very specific categories. Um, so let me give you an example. <clears throat> the global categories were furniture, weapons, uh, vehicles, tools, and toys. The basic level categories are the way that we name things. Things are lamps. We don't really call a lamp furniture normally. Um, it's a sofa, you know, boats, firearms, carpenters, tools, dolls, and jackets. The specific level is the um, uh, subordinate level where uh, things are very specified. Desk, lamp, sailboats, rifles, hammers, barbies, etc. So um, there are different uh, category levels, and this is counterbalanced across trials so that you don't get uh, lamp and desk lamp. All right, so what happens normally in these experiments? Uh, generally, you tend to have um, more uh, features for basic level categories and specific level categories, and global tends to show less features. Um, <clears throat> but there doesn't tend to be a big difference uh, between uh, specific and basic. So uh, the, that sort of implies that people process information at the basic level and it's, and it's privileged. That is where the most amount of information is stored um, and it's the, the uh, part of the brain that does the most work, that sort of thing. And so it uh, provides the most bang for your buck. So calling things a desk gives you the maximal amount of information without being too specific or too vague.